Hello students, welcome back to Clever Profile channel. Today we are going to discuss about the important books or best books for the NEET Physics examination. In particular, I am going to show you some of the MTG books for NEET Physics. Most probably any serious students attempting to clear the NEET examination will be in the class 11. There are of course, there are many students are there in class 9 and 10 who are talking about the NEET examination. But that's not very important and that is not needed to be very serious also. So a serious attempt starts from class 11 onwards. So I am considering that class 11 will be the serious point at which a particular student will be aware of the NEET examination and the seriousness of starting their preparation. So that's why I have written that the base point for you would be the class 11. But NEET exam is somewhere else. Let us say it is at the fifth level. I mean, if you consider that class 11 is the first level, then you'll have to climb up. Then only you can clear the NEET examination. So how do you climb? Yes, simply you can say that we need a ladder for climbing. But can you use your leg and put your leg in and then climb in this particular ladder? No, that's not possible. This is an examination and therefore you have to use your brain. You have to improve your knowledge. So knowledge is in used for climbing this ladder. That's what we are going to see. How are you going to climb this ladder? Naturally, since you are already in the class 11, Naturally, your second level will be automatically taken by you. You don't have to worry about that. Which means that in the class 12, you will be already clearing the second level. Now only we have to worry about what are the 3, 4 and 5. Anyway, fifth one is the NEET examination. So if you are going to ask the question that currently you are studying either in the class 11 or in the class 12. So where are you standing? in the pathway to the NEET examination. So currently you would be reading the NCRT books if you are a CBSC student. If you are a state board student anyway that doesn't affect too much because they will be studying their corresponding board examination books. So all the state board books will be surrounding or we will be saying that everything is revolving around the NCRT syllabus. So there won't be too much difference between the syllabus of the state board and the CBSC syllabus. And therefore, one should not worry too much about which board they are studying in. It doesn't matter because you are going to discuss some other books that are required for the NEET examination. Therefore, your state board will not affect your performance in the NEET examination. This is very important point to remember. So now that you, you are already studying your textbooks, next to what to do? So most of the or many of the students frequently ask this question. I don't want to read in CRT book. Is there any other alternative? I don't know the reason why they ask this, but there are many students who are asking this question. Other than in CRT book, what else I can do for the physics? So I am going to discuss for the only for the physics part. So there are many, of course, there are many alternatives are there. So if you are going to search the internet for the different books that are available on the NEAT physics, you will be finding many of them as it is shown here. If I count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 9 into 3, 27 books are there. Almost everything, uh, maybe I, I might have left out only one or two books, that's all. Almost every book is I have um, selected and then brought it here. And it has uh, say 27 here it one is missing you think that this particular place is empty it is not empty if you come to this blue color book which is written as concept of physics by H.C. Verma this is actually a two volume book it is not a single book it is a two volume book therefore the second volume will come here and fill therefore here you have 27 books are available for neat physics certainly a student cannot buy all the 27 books and then read all the books you don't have that much time so that's practically not possible so naturally the question comes that out of this many books which book should i or which book is the best one that one can choose 
so that is the question so we are going to address that question and provide the answer so choose either one best book or say two books so that you can proceed further the as usual you start with the ncrt physics whether you like it or not you but it is very important that you have to read it so that's important you should not totally neglect it if you don't like it okay you read it to say 50 percent you read it that's very important and once you finish that you can choose an option like mtg physics guide is available this guide will have all the information from the ncrt physics book so you should remember one thing that this mtg physics guide will have all the information from the ncrt physics it is already there plus so what is extra here i have written something 80 and 90 percent here so what is extra is you will be having objective questions exclusively asked from the neat examination so that's why something extra i have written that will not be available in the ncrt physics so this is one option if you don't want to read an ncrt physics for example or if you want additional information over and above the ncrt physics then the first choice for you would be to choose the mtg physics guide what about the second choice maybe you can have another choice i don't say rank wise first and second doesn't mean that first rank and second rank it is just a choice one choice and another choice so one choice could be the mtg physics and the second choice or another choice could be the physics book written by professor h c verma from iit kanpur and i have written here 100 percent the reason is that the physics book which this is actually a two volume book not a single volume so reading this book is uh, quite time consuming because it has a lot of details now since it has a lot of details i have also written more information is available so i have written 100 percent everything you need to write a typical objective question is available in addition to the concepts here uh, you have to remember one thing there are some books which will straight away take some problems and solve hc verma book is not like that there is a lot of concepts are explained in uh, in first few pages and then a small very elementary question is solved elementary problem is solved and then that is followed by some more difficult question so it goes step by step so therefore hc verma physics book is one of the best books that you can choose but remember that it also takes a lot of time for you to read so you can't because the number of pages is very large you have two volumes are there and in the entire two volume you have to read the book so that itself takes a lot of time so that is very important whereas that is why if you see ncrt physics the number of pages is very less by reading a little number of pages you can gain some knowledge whereas hc verma physics if you want to read you need a lot of time because a lot of pages are there you have to read all the pages that takes time naturally when you spend a lot of time you also learn a lot of things that is there so now it is up to you what you want to choose so now we have some idea that instead of having i'll go back uh, to my previous slide so the previous slide shows this many books so we don't want to confuse by having so many books with you so we are going to choose selected books and then we are coming back to this so we are going to choose either the mtg physics guide or the hc verma physics any one is enough if you want to buy both it is up to you but minimum you can have one book any one book is required so now we are uh, coming to one big question many students are asking this question can we read dc panda physics book it is a good book by the way but i have not included this book in the list here so you can ask the question why is that book missing so the answer is here that book which that means dc pandes book is designed for the je examination so what's the difference between the je physics and the neat physics there is a difference you see what is the difference here the difference is that je physics is somewhat difficult when compared to the neat physics questions so the question now is very clear why do you want to read a difficult book when you want to answer simple questions but if you say that i am very much interested in physics i want to read difficult problems then yes good go ahead and buy the dc pande physics book but remember 
it contains difficult questions that are asked in the jee examination okay so that's the point to be noted if you if you are not going to write the jee examination then why do you want to solve difficult problems you always solve simple problem answer the simple problems in the neat examination and get selected that's the easy thing to do so that is the reason why i did not include the dc pandey physics book it's a good book only but it is meant for the joint entrance examination for admission to the nit national institute of technologies okay now coming back to this ladder now we are clear that once you have the level 1 and the level 2 cleared now we are going to choose any one book so here i am going to choose the hc verma book they are the two volume books and then which means that practically you are approaching the neat examination but there is a small gap between the knowledge that you gain at the hc verma physics book and the neat examination that's a very small gap but it is always better to fill the gap so what is that gap and that is the mtg previous year question paper this previous year question paper will give you exact questions what was asked in previous years and you don't have to read anything new because you already read the hc verma physics books you know all the concepts only thing is using those concepts you simply solve the questions that were asked in the previous years so for that purpose the mtg previous year question paper is very very useful so we are going to i'm going to open the book and show you the pages available in this book okay so coming to the signal now reading the ncert books you can't move further and now that you few finish reading the physics hc verma book you are ready to go you are ready to write the neat examination but before jumping into the neat examination it is better to see what questions were asked in the previous years so if you are going to read the mtg physics questions that were asked in the previous years you have the green signal so you have the knowledge also you also know what kind of questions are going to come in the next or in the forthcoming neat examination so you are ready to crack the examination not only you are ready to write the exam you are also ready to crack the exam that is the meaning of the green signal now coming back we have been telling mtg mtg i am not going to tell what is a uh, you know, very particular only for the mtg but there are other company books are also available first let me tell you what is available in this book then i'll also just tell you what other books are available you have a uh, three different types of books are available one is the previous year question papers asked exclusively in the aims examination and the second one is the previous year question papers exclusively from the neat examination by the way earlier neat examination is called ai pmt examination but whatever be the name it doesn't matter finally physics question is the physics question irrespective of whichever be the medical entrance examination and the another type of book that is available is neat physics guide neat physics guide will have basic concepts what are the formulas to be remembered and some of the derivations followed by some objective questions and that is how the book will be there that is the difference between a physics guide and the previous year question paper previous year question paper means nothing will be explained straight away question physics guide means some basic information some formulas required all these things will be given to you that's the difference between this now in addition to this mtg you have another book by the disha publishers and that contains 11 years of previous year question paper exclusively asked from jipmer medical examination only at this point you will ask a question namely that recently jipmer entrance examination as well as the aims entrance examination have been merged together to make a single neat entrance examination if it is the case the question is do you want to read jipmer question paper or not is it useful or jipmer question papers are useless that's the question similarly you can ask from my previous slide you can ask the question you have an aims physics questions are there now aims examination is again merged to a common entrance called neat so now the question is shall i go through the aims previous year questions or not that's the question answer is very simple physics doesn't change because of aims or because of jipmer or because of some other medical entrance exam that doesn't change 
and therefore all these question papers are very very are equally important they are still relevant some of the questions from the aims physics examination or a similar question can come in the neat examination in the future years and same thing is true for jipmer exam and that we will see in a moment so coming back to this our original slide we have now 11 years of this is the interesting thing we have 11 years for the jipmer we will count how many question papers you have so 11 is for this jipmer in the previous slide we have seen some numbers you do you remember so if you have uh, that number you can count now how many question papers are there totally 32 are from the previous neat examination and 26 are the aims question paper so if you add them you get 69 years real question papers and that's more than enough why do you want that many this many number is not required if you can solve five or six years question paper that's more than enough but you have 69 of them readily available so therefore you start opening this book and start solving this problem and that's enough you can easily score 170 plus in the neat physics okay i'm once again i'm telling you only in physics i am telling so therefore the important point is this do you want to make a conclusion that old questions are not important what do you mean by old questions suppose there is a question in 1994 aims examination now the latest one it may be 2020 or 2021 do you believe that the latest question is very important old questions are not important is it correct that's the question what is the answer we'll see here now this is an example question paper from the aims that you have now from this slide you can easily see that this question is repeated two times first it was asked in 2005 once again same question is repeated in 2015 in a 10 years gap so what's the meaning the meaning is the question can repeat itself or it may not repeat they may slightly change changing the question is very easy suppose if you say that in the mechanics if you say that a, a car is moving at a speed of 100 km per hour then they can change instead of 100 km per hour you can change it to 75 km per hour then it can come in the next year so it need not be an identical question a small change in the question is also possible and therefore now we are going back to the question and asking very old questions are not important is it true it is not true so every question whether it is old or new it is very important the reason is newton's laws doesn't change when when time changes newton has discovered you know sometime 1600 at that period now 400 years are over so because of 400 years newton's law doesn't change it's same thing so therefore the old question paper doesn't mean that they are less important questions they are very important because they are old questions there is a more chances there that it can come in the recent years so don't neglect that similarly aims questions are still relevant aims question doesn't mean that it won't come in neat it doesn't there is no difference between aims examination and the neat examination the level of difficulty the syllabus everything is same therefore you should go through all the questions wherever possible so now that we have discussed this we will straight away open the mtg book uh, which is exactly the 26 years aims question paper i already told you that there are three different books are there one is 26 years aims the another is 32 years neat the other one is the mtg physics guide so out of the three books i'm going to show you now the first book namely the 26 years aims question papers and before opening this let me tell you one one important point that i have shown you some uh, something like 27 books i showed you that these are the possible books that one can buy suppose if you feel that you want to see some of the other books that i showed there you write down please write down in the comment below and ask me that please show this particular book you write down the name of the book then i'll make a video for you and i'll uh, show several pages from that book i have all the 27 books with me so i can show uh, several pages from that particular book so that you can read slowly and then make a decision if the book is very good you can buy so that's the point that is the reason why i am showing this book if you are not subscribed to this clever profile channel 
please subscribe now you will be getting more videos not only for the textbooks on the neat physics but also on the solution methods the explanation to the solving problems and uh, several video lectures for the at the level of class 11 and the class 12 several videos will be following which you can verify from this clever profile channel therefore please consider subscribing to this channel now we have the actual book namely the 26 years question paper which were asked exactly in the aims so just let us scan the contents it has 29 chapters which cover all the two years namely the 11th and the 12th standard and then if you can quickly scan the chapters first chapter second chapter etc i am just giving you a glance first of all then i will show you the actual pages slowly now why do you want to scan quickly is that what do you observe from here that if you are going to see quickly let me stop for example at one of the places for example and then you can check out what is happening if you are going to pause for some time and see uh, what is happening in each one of these chapters you can observe the following that straight away questions are given and in which year it is asked that is also given but no information about basics no definitions no i mean um, no formulas nothing is given straight away questions are given so that is the nature of the book so this book is primarily meant for exact question paper and then it's a solution of course it's a solution is discussed later but now these chapters will have all the questions now we are going to scan slowly so that you can read now we are coming to the first chapter and then i'm going to uh, move at a particular speed in such a way that you can read if you want to uh, if you want to solve the problem you can pause the video write down the question and then start solving but before that you can see what is there inside once all the questions are over for a particular topic now this book is a chapter wise book so that is a great advantage here so all the questions are not scattered here that means the questions are collected in a particular chapter and then that is given under one unit so first unit is over so under that answers are given here and followed by some explanation now here you have to remember one important thing the explanations are to a minimum extent you can't expect very detailed explanation will not be given the reason is that you already studied in ncrt you already studied some other textbook for understanding basics and now you are attempting to solve a problem and therefore a minimum explanation is given for each question so that you can understand if you are unable to understand what is given here then it means that you have to read some other physics textbook such as H. C. Verma physics or the NCRT itself whatever it is so now let the book scrolling will be moving on it is moving at a relatively slow speed for you to read now I am not going to explain anything because there is nothing to explain so this is only a question paper and answers are given some explanation is given and the purpose of the video is that you read this and you realize whether this book is important or not so that decision you are going to make now my recommendation is this book is a very good book everyone can buy this and read this the reasons are already explained so with this my, uh, my comments on explanation is over and let the scrolling will be going on so you read it there won't be any voice now okay but if you have any comment on this please write down your comments uh, in the comments below and if you want me to show some other books on neat physics please write down that also i'll make a new video for you thank you